Hello, I'm Executive Director Mark Watts of the C40 Cities Climate Leadership Group Project. The C40 Cities consist of 97 global cities that represent one twelfth of the world's population and fully one quarter of the world's global economy. Our member cities have united around the goal of reducing the rise in global temperatures and delivering on the Paris Agreement. The C40 today turns our attention to the conflict in the South China Sea. We encourage parties in the South China Sea to take the perspective of the long game in this scenario of both protecting the assets of the region and protecting the planet as a whole. A particularly deleterious effect of climate change is the erosion of coastal areas as sea levels rise. Parties in the South China Sea must recognize this risk. The region we now know will not be the same region that our children do. As sea levels rise and major populations are displaced, the conflict over possession of sea and land will seem a minor issue compared to the coming humanitarian crisis that we must collectively prepare for. As long as countries are drilling for oil, natural gas, as a way to stake claim to the area, and the military continue to use submarines, military vehicles, and military planes, countries are threatening the long-term viability of the South China Sea as a whole. Natural gas, oil, biodiversity, and viability of the land are limited resources that should be respected and preserved. The challenge of climate change in our world is the single largest conflict present today. The C40 implores their member nations to exert influence on climate goals through cooperation over conflict. Reducing our collective carbon footprint must be at the forefront of all global leaders' goals.